The owners of a new business are baking up some goodness right out of their home. The uh, lovingly reheated Tina Makua <laughs> is live in Sacramento to tell us more. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. All right, Erica Katz and Eric Mitchell together, they have changed their lives upside down and created novel baked goods. All right, we're going to get the story on that in just a second. It's all about biscotti. Who likes biscotti? Me. <laughs> all right, so Eric, I'll let you get into the other area there. And Eric, here's the thing. These guys are educators that used to live a few months ago where? Uh, in San Francisco. And you moved here. Why? Well, a little more elbow room, trees, a different <laughs> vibe, um, a nice house in a nice neighborhood. And free parking! And free Yay! Parking. Yay! No parking signs on the street. So you're both educators <laughs> in the past, and that's how you met, right? Uh, yeah, in fact, we met when we were in teacher training many, many years ago. Hey. Yeah. Romance. All right, so now you're making some biscotti on mm -hmm. the side, okay? And I love this. Show us the dough and how you shape it and... Sure, yeah. My week is pretty much divided these days up into dough days and baking days. Yesterday was a dough day for me. Dough I day. Lots of these. These are the raw dough. Um, these stay in the fridge or the freezer to develop their flavor a little bit. Then I take them out, bring them to room temperature. Um, put and shaper? I put them in my little shaper here. You will not find this um, up at Target. I uh, made this myself out in the garage. This is he's an educator. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Pinching pennies. Um, and uh, made this uh, to custom fit the pans that All I right, use. Alright, then you're cutting after yeah, you're baking. So those go in the oven and then what we end up with um, after the first baking is the whole loaf there. Okay. Right? And then those whole loaves get cut into the slices and then baked for the second time. That's the second. And this is, is uh, your... The twice baked. Did you draw the lines on there, Mr. Educator? Yeah, so this is my creation, too. This is to help me um, make sure that I can get these the right size and yeah. get them into our packaging. And then you bake them again. Yeah. Exactly. Hence the little crunch that you oh. get with biscotti. Let's see if I can bake and cut at the same time. Listen to the sound. Yeah. And where did Novel Baked Goods name come from? So Novel Baked Goods uh, is mostly about our emphasis on novel flavor combinations, kind of innovative um, combinations, the kind that you don't see in most uh, cafes and restaurants, things that are uniquely delicious. And it is also a little bit of a nod to the fact that we have made our living mostly as middle school English teachers and lower school teachers um, as well. Um, I love so it. I love it. Take a look. Look at this. Made this morning, Eric? Yeah. For me? What? Presence. So these pieces yeah. will go back on the pan here and baked. they will get uh, baked once for five minutes and then I'll flip them one by one and then bake them again on the other side for three and a half minutes. Sounds like my and life. And that's what they look like when they're done. All right, let me go talk to Erica because we have, Dave goes, you have such pretty handwriting here. Because you. you're a I teacher, you're an writing. educator. Yes. All right, so these are the court, look at the flavors. Hit me. So we have ginger thyme, brown butter chocolate chip, coconut cardamom, <gasps> chocolate rye, springtime lemon almond from oh. Lemons in our neighborhood, and butter pecan. And here are oh. some of the upcoming pop-ups, right? You're going to come up on the next few uh, weekends here. Yeah, we have a busy weekend. We'll be um, at Crawford's Books for Independent Bookstore Day mm -hmm. um, with Pitador Brews. So yeah. we're excited to... And this is what the them. packaging looks like. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. You. Love. You educators are smart people. And which one's the cardamom? Coconut cardamom. The coconut cardamom is this one in the back here. Mm -hmm. Here. Yep. Oops, I touched it. And you said you <laughs> were going to definitely try that. Mmm, smell. Mmm. Oh, look at how coffee sweet. Coffee with your biscotti. <laughs> coffee and biscotti. All right, so congratulations on the business. Oh, excuse me. Look at that. Cheers. And what's your favorite flavor? Coconut cardamom. But brown butter chocolate chip is our most popular. Everybody loves this. Okay, and your favorite is the one that you make? My favorite is the chocolate rye. I feel really proud of that one. It took me forever to get that one spot on, and it finally is. It's got that nice little mellow, fruity spiciness of the caraway seeds mm. and the chocolate. It's a little bit of a steal from the world of dark brown beer. Um, oh. Yeah, the flavor combinations from a dark porter. Well, there actually. you go. So. Okay. Novel baked goods. Look for them on Instagram, guys. This How is, is it so tea? great, and, and their future pop-ups there. I love it. Mm.
Yum. Delicious. Yum. I need to dance about it, but I don't want to scare them away and have them move back to San Francisco. <laughs> you know? Well, they've seen some things in San Francisco. I said, oh, I'm a longtime Sacramentan. I can help you out. <laughs> it's true. You're like a dose. Okay. Back to you guys. Thanks, T. Oh, <laughs>